Hi, this is Chad Liddell. I am the team captain of the Toy Box team at Avalanche Software. We are the developers of Disney Infinity. And in this video, I'm going to give you a brief overview on how to edit and build things in the Toy Box. And before I start though, I do want to put a pitch out there to go and try the Mastery Adventures, particularly the Building Mastery Adventure. Those will teach you how to play. They'll give you the basic understanding of what you need to do. And they will also unlock a ton of toys and it's the easiest way to get toys. So I would recommend doing that. If you want to do the Building Mastery uh, Adventure, you can come to this red pad on the Disney Hub and you can go and select Mastery Adventures and then you select Building Mastery. I'm not going to do that. Um, I will back out and we will go over editing. So the first thing with editing is that you need to go into the interface. And to do that, you press the back button on the controller and this will bring up this view here. This is called the toy view of the editor. And this shows all the different toys that you have and you can scroll between them using the analog stick or the D-pad. Um, you can also skip between pages by just moving over the boundary of the, a the page like this. And you can also skip between pages by using the bumper buttons, uh, RB and LB, and these will switch between these. And there's another view also which is very handy and it's called the build view and you get to that by pressing the Y button. So if I press Y, it'll bring up this view. And it's a bit different. It has a little ribbon at the bottom where you can scroll between toys within a category. And you can also see, obviously, a lot more in the screen, so you can edit very quickly this way. This is usually the view that I'll use if I'm going to edit something large or build something large. Um, at the bottom there, the way you select a toy is with the bumper buttons and with the uh, trigger buttons. The, the triggers actually select individual toys. You can press the trigger just once to go through one toy at a time, or I can press and hold and it'll move through all of them. And the longer I hold, the faster it'll go. And you can switch categories, like right now I'm in the block category, you can switch categories by using the bumper buttons. So if I hit RB, uh, it'll switch between these uh, very quickly. So I'll find a toy that I want to use and then I'll show you how to move that. Let's find a block. So I'm going to go to the blocks category and we'll just do the basic block to start out with. So I move the toy around by using the left stick and that will move it around on a plane that's just pretty much flat. I move it up and down by pressing up and down on the D-pad and I rotate it by pressing left and right on the D-pad, like so. And this is a little insider tip that isn't documented. You can change the camera view um, by clicking in on R3 or the right analog stick, and that'll switch between different views. And I can rotate the camera by pressing left and right um, on that same uh, right analog stick, and I can pitch it up and down um, by pressing up and down on that uh, right analog stick. So that's the basics for moving things around. You'll notice there's some lines that end up drawing on here. One is this yellow line on the ground. If I ever move across something that has a yellow line, that tells me that I am touching that object. So it's a safe place to put it. And if I, if I put the toy down, it'll go directly onto that object and it'll be planar with it. Um, and if I get a blue outline on the toy, that's a good thing. If I move it inside of something else and it turns red, you'll get that outline. That means that I cannot place it there. So you don't want it to be in a red spot. You won't be able to place it. Uh, other than that, that's pretty much it for just basic placement of toys. When I'm ready to drop it down, I just press A and it'll immediately get me another object. And I can place that so I can switch between these. Um, there's a little bit of an insider tip. There's some little things you can do. If I press it down and I drop a toy down like this, if I want to press another one right next to it, I can flick the stick in the direction that I want to go. And it'll pop the toy over there, in this case this block, and I can press another one down. Also. I can press and hold the A button and then flick the stick repeatedly and I can drop down multiples in a row until I get it to an invalid spot like that. That's very handy for quickly placing objects down. And so and there's another part of this which is um, the actual editing. So once I place something down and I want to uh, move it or delete it or change it in any way, the way I do that is I need to select the magic wand. I did that with a quick select. and when I'm in there, I can hold down the left trigger and that'll take me into aim mode and I can just move around and highlight the different objects. You'll see this green highlight on things, that means that I have it selected. And you'll see this little doodad on the bottom right, that little compass looking thing. That will show me the valid uh, operations that I can do on that object. So in this case I have a block selected and if I pressed Y, uh, that would uh, customize it. If I press B, it'll put it back into my toys. And if I press A, it will be, I'll be able to edit it. So if I press A, it takes me right back to that initial editing interface. And I can then move it around and do whatever I want with it, just like I would if I was just uh, starting out with it. So I'll place that down and I'll back back out. So if I wanted to customize it, I'd press Y and that would bring up the customization interface and I can 
uh, apply these and then B exits this. And another way that's very handy, especially if you're editing a lot of things, um, besides the wand for changing things when you're done, is to go into what's called spark mode. And to get into spark mode, I go into the editing interface, I press the X button, and that makes me become the spark of imagination. And I can move this around using the exact same uh, method for when I'm just placing toys normally. And I can move it up and down with the D-pad, left stick, the left analog stick will move it in space. Um, and when I go over an object, it'll give me that same compass doodad on the bottom right that shows me what I can do with these things. So I can come back in here, and just like I did before, I can customize this again. And we'll make this chrome. Okay, so let me exit that uh, by pressing B. There's a little secret tip with the spark mode, which is extremely handy. I can actually use it to, to uh, travel around. If I go to a spot um, that I want to have my character, I can go into spark mode, move to that spot, and then I can exit the spark mode, which you do is by pressing select or the back button. And then once I am back to here, I press B and it'll drop my character right where I was. So if you're moving long distances, it's extremely handy. There's another little hint um, that isn't documented, and that's if I go into spark mode, and this also works in just normal object placement mode. If I go into spark mode, I can move around much quicker if I hold in on L3, the left analog stick, if I push in on it. Um, and that moves things at about 10x normal speed. So I can move very quick, I can jump all the way over here, um, go to a valid spot, exit spark mode, press B, and I'll drop my character over here. So I just went halfway across the world very quickly by doing that. And also, again, that works just fine. Um, placing, um, when you're placing an object, you can move it much faster by using L3 and placing it like this. So I think that's most of the basics of how to edit. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments and I will try to answer those. Or you can go to my blog, which is chadliddell.tumblr.com and I will try to answer them there. Thank you very much.